Hello and welcome to Tete a Tete, France 24's flagship interview show. Our guest today is Robert Kyagulani. He's better known as Bobby Wine, Uganda's main opposition leader, a star musician turned politician who currently leads the National Unity Platform. In 2021, he scored over a third of the votes in a presidential election won by the country's long-serving president, Yoveri Museveni. Bobby Wine joins us from Kampala. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. Bobby, uh, I understand you were recently under a house arrest. This has now been lifted. Can you tell us whether you're free to move around your country? Uh, thank you very much. Yes, I was under house arrest, uh, but now the military and police has left my house. So in the meantime, I can say I'm free and I, indeed I move around the country, although I'm always followed by the military and police, but I can move around the country. Right. Uh, why are you so closely monitored uh, by the country's security services? Uh, why do they, uh, what do they fear from you? Uh, it's important to know that Uganda has been ruled for 38 years by General Yoweri Museveni who has succeeded in crushing every opposition against him. Uh, he is facing a new generation of young people who have never seen another leader. And uh, my rise came along with the rise of a spirit of patriotism and a, a demand for change. Now, I lead a very vibrant young population that is constantly calling for the exit of General Yoweri Museveni. And the regime in Uganda believes that by gagging me and controlling me and restricting me, they are restricting what the inevitable, the uprising of the people of Uganda. Simply because everywhere I go, the people of Uganda come in masses, thousands and hundreds of thousands, to join me and show solidarity. Right. Uh, what is your strategy right now? You just mentioned uh, the word uprising. Are you calling for popular mo mobilization or are you waiting for the next election, which is scheduled in 2026? Uh, what is your goal? What are you pursuing right now? We had an election in 2021, which my party and I strongly believe we won. This is an election that happened in complete darkness. The internet was completely switched off. Uh, the European Union and uh, American election observers were restricted from coming to the country. Radio stations were switched off. And myself and my entire uh, campaign were arrested. I was under house arrest while the rest were in prison. Many of them continue to be in prison. But that was not the first time. Dr. Kiza Besige had defeated General Museveni in 2016. But the same thing had happened. While there is an election uh, in 2026, we strongly believe that General Museveni is intending to do what he did in 2016 and 2021. Therefore, we are mobilizing the people of Uganda to affirm their authority to rise up non-violently and unarmed because it is provided for in our constitution to throw out General Museveni. So yes, we are calling for... Um, civil disobedience, we are calling for a moral uprising, we are calling for a revolution. And that explains why I am always gagged and always controlled and restricted. So we are calling for an uprising. But if the uprising has not happened in 2026, we have made it clear that we are going to use every moral and every constitutional method to procure change. And yes, if we go into an election, we'll go into an election as a means, as a spark for the revolution that we so badly want. So if I understand, you're hoping that your very Museveni will be pushed out by a popular mobilization before 2026. But if it doesn't happen, you will run, presumably against him, again in 2026, correct? Yes, correct. However, we only don't rely on ourselves. We continue to call upon the international community because the international community is largely responsible for the sustaining of General Museveni in power for 38 years. So if the international community can understand our plight and also align with the values that they profess, 
values like respect for democracy, human rights, and the rule of law, then we would have General Museveni out of power sooner than 2026. But that's clearly not happening. Well, it is not happening, but we have not given up. We have not given up. We continue to push because we want change. Because the longer we have General Museveni, is the more we have gross human rights uh, violations in Uganda, is the more that Uganda continues to be indebted and all that that comes with it. Right. Uh, Bobby Wan, you, you mentioned that in passing, but uh, a few years ago, your driver was killed in what you describe as an attempt on your life. You were arrested. I mean, uh, are you still uh, afraid of being arrested or even worse? And have you received threats about this? I have survived very many assassination attempts by Ugandan security. During the elections, I survived gunshots. But even recently, uh, a few months ago, about three months ago, when we had uh, the national inter-platform countrywide tour, uh, I survived assassination. And the assassins were arrested and handed over to police. But that's all that it was. Yes, I fear for my life. I fear for detention. I fear for persecution. But like you said, I fear for my life because I know that the regime is bent on eliminating all kinds of challenges. Right. Uh, I mentioned President Vucevene. Do you think he will, he will run or his plan is to hand over to his son? I know that General Museveni will definitely run for as long as he can open his eyes. Dictators don't just live like that. But also because we have information that he has bodily weaknesses, he has been trying to force his son on the people of Uganda illegally because his son is a military general, a serving military officer, who is, according to our constitution, barred and restricted from involving in partisan politics. But his son moves from place to place in full guard of the military and police campaigning. However, we strongly believe that that is just a woodwink that General Museveni is going to come back and will continue coming back the same way Robert Mugabe used to do. Right. Uh, I want to turn now uh, to uh, a law that's been passed in, in May, the Anti-Homosexuality Act. It calls uh, for life imprisonment for having gay sex, up to 20 years in prison for anyone promoting homosexuality. Uh, do you support this law, uh, yes or no? Uh, Bobby Wine, your MPs in Parliament voted in favor of it. Uh, thank you very much. I've always said that our struggle is a struggle for respect for human rights for every Ugandan. However, having said that, uh, I also want to come to the anti-LGBT law, which has been criminalized. The LGBT issue in Uganda has been weaponized. It has been turned into a political weapon against political opponents. And now that a law has been passed, uh, I beg you to understand that anything I say in comment uh, to that law can be used against me here in Uganda because I live in Uganda. Right, but uh, if you, you come to power, would you repeal it uh, or would you keep it? Uh, because it has been criticized. It has even provoked sanctions uh, from the World Bank, from the U.S. and so on. Uh, it's not clear what your thinking is on this issue. Like I said, the law was passed here in Uganda. And the, uh, the issue has been weaponized, especially against political opponents. So anything that I can say now that the law is in force can be used against me here in Uganda. But like I said, uh, we are firm believers in human rights for every Ugandan. Right. So I can assume that if you come to power, uh, you would change or repeal that law, correct? I would respect human rights for all Ugandans. Uh, I want to turn uh, to uh, the uh, number of coups we're seeing in, in West Africa. Uh, you also have rulers who tend to stay in power. Are you concerned about the fate of democracy in Africa? Definitely. It's a concerning issue for all Africans to see that democracy is rolling back. We are rolling back all the achievements uh, by our predecessors to see that coups are the thing uh, in fashion, in not only in Western Africa, 
uh, coups have been legitimized even here in Uganda. General Museveni came in through a military coup and he was promising change, but 38 years down the road, he does not want to be seen or be heard saying the things that he said when he was coming to power. We disagree with militarism. We disagree with disrespect for democracy. Yes, we know that the justification of most of these coups has been dictatorship and changing of constitutions by the incumbents to remain in power. But again, uh, wrong does not replace wrong. If they were really moral, then they would call for elections as soon as they overthrow those that they call dictators. Otherwise, it will be a replacement of old dictators by new dictators. We don't agree with gun rule. We believe in democracy. Bobby Wine, a documentary about you called Bobby Wine, the People's President, has been just recently nominated to this year's Oscars. Uh, were you uh, surprised by this and uh, how do you interpret it? I was humbled and I believe the people of Uganda were humbled. We did not set out to make an award-winning film. We were only documenting what we go through, our struggle for freedom and we were inviting the world into our plight, into our story, into the situation in Uganda, because the media in Uganda is so controlled that what goes out of Uganda is simply a rose, a rose picture that is edited and controlled by General Museveni. But we are humbled that our story has been recognized at a world stage to the level of going into the Oscars. We are thankful because we know that the attention that comes with the Oscar nomination is a, is a life-saving attention. For me as an individual and my family, it keeps us alive a little more because now the world knows what's going on in Uganda. We cannot very easily be eliminated. Not that we are very safe, but at least we know that the world is watching in Uganda. And we hope that this will also provoke the conscience, especially of the international community, the European Union and the United States and all democracy-seeking forces to know that when they support and uh, uh, enable General Museveni, they are enabling oppression, uh, extrajudicial killings and all manner of dictatorship. Bobby Wine, I want to thank you very much uh, for appearing here on France 24 uh, from Uganda. And I want to thank you all for watching this show.